Hi everyone, I'm Savannah, I'm in my apron, and we're going to be teaching you how to do some pet growing. So let's just get started. Okay, so you have your pet, and I'm going to try to put this somewhere where you guys can see my grooming area. It's right there. So, take your pet. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's Ricky. And make sure he's just up there like that. He can eat or whatever. And I'm taking a two-sided brush, which looks like this. Very inexpensive. Um, I recommend this because, um, you know, it's just two-sided. It's very well. It has this side, which you use after you brush it. I also have a a flea binder. They're also useful. They don't have fleas, but I like to, you know, kind of just brush through and make sure they don't have any knots. Gets rid of knots very well. Um, you're also going to need a garbage can for your loose hair, some snacks for them, and some fresh water, and some toys for them to play after once they get rewarded. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be first using the two-sided brush using this side. And then that side. Let's see if I can scoot up up here. Let me go get him. Okay. He's right there. And I'm just going to brush him from the head down to about his tail. Holding his neck very softly that it feels comfortable that he can just kind of like lie down. What you want them to do? I have little snacks there. So keep him distracted. And just taking that side. Just gonna brush him. He turns around, do this side. You gotta kind of work with the cat. Now taking this side and making it just a little bit smooth. Hopefully you guys can still see him. Just taking that and putting it like that. Making it just a little bit smoother. And same for the other side. I know you guys can't see this, but... Turn around. Make him be friends with the brush. I mean, he'll love that. And taking that side and just brushing him. He is moving so much. So what you basically want him to do is, I'm going to set it right there. I'm going to try to get him right there and stay there. So he's going to lay there. Usually I have a bed here, but today I just don't have a bed. So you're going to put that right in front of him while you can brush him. And that's exactly where you want him. You can hold him by the neck right here. Very gently so he doesn't feel like he's being strangled. You know? You don't want that. And then do the opposite side to cool it down. And do the same for the other side. I don't know if you guys can still see him. So I'm taking this, doing that, then taking the other side and going again. And it makes that smooth surface. I'll show you guys that. Makes the smooth surface you have just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to take the flea comber. Empty it with the hair that's in the garbage. Throw that in the garbage. And I'm going to take that and just start at the neckline. And I'll show you guys how I do that. You're just going to want to start at the neckline right here. And just brush and bring up. Start the head. And take the hair and push it up like that so it has like a little mohawk. And just get into there and see. 
if you find anything on your brush. If you do, I would suggest you take them to a vet where you can get some medicine for them and then just bring it back down. Now down here near his body, down here near his body right here, I'm just going to brush that very, and if you find a knot, just don't um go like that. You just want to tether it. Just like that. And this is a long haired cat, so it takes longer than a short haired cat. Um, so, and kind of form, it's kind of funny, but you kind of want to just form the butt. And if he gets down, to, you uh, get him back up. And I want him to be laying on this side, so you're going to sit him down. Just get him to sit there. And I'm going to take again this side and brush him. Uh uh. And he'll just kind of lay down. Just like so. But if he gets down again, you don't want that to happen. So you grab it. And we want. Just brush it with your hand just a little bit. 